Hi everybody, it's me, Sherry D, and I'm here to share with you my approach to dry brushing for your health. And so thank you for joining me. This is designed as a follow along dry brushing tutorial. So we always wanna be sure to drink plenty of water. So grab your water bottle, grab your dry brush, and let's get started. Mm. So remember that dry brushing is so good for our health. It's good for our lymph system flow, which is what we're really achieving with dry brushing for health. And so we're gonna have brighter skin, we're gonna have better blood flow, and so, um, and the lymphatic system boosts the immune system. So here we go, I have a soft, natural bristled brush, and I have a little bit more of a stiff, natural bristled brush. And um, you can either choose to go from the top down or from the bottom up. I like coming from the bottom up. So this is my face, it's the softer one. I will put that aside. I grab my coarse brush and I get started. I just start stroking from the bottom up. I usually try to do three or four in one area before I move just a little bit to another area. And while I'm doing these strokes, I'm also mentally connecting everything, making my thoughts, flowing thoughts, feel good thoughts, healing thoughts. We have a big amount of lymph nodes behind our knee. So you want to go ahead and brush behind the knee quite a few times, nice and lightly. You don't have to do it hard. I like to kind of pull my skin over so I can reach that and open it up just a little bit more. Our next lymph nodes are here in the groin area. So we just keep, and I always like to start on the left. And now we're going to brush towards the groin area. I can feel some movement happening here. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that happen. Now I'm going to start on my right foot. Just brushing up. Do the top of your feet, do your ankles if you have any ankle pain, joint swelling. Oh, I'm only, what, a few minutes in and I already could feel a good amount of oxygen flowing in my body. For those of you that suffer from knee pain, you can open up the knee, brush it really good. Remember the back of the leg, the lymph nodes. Sometimes I like to even help the fluid more with my hand, which if you do not have a brush, you can use loofah, you can use just your hands, you can use a washcloth, a nice cotton washcloth. So then when we get to the back, we want to go ahead and brush, and of course this is done on bare skin, but you know, for the sake of video, I'll keep it, keep it clean, okay? And then as you start coming to the belly, you're always going to go in a clockwise circular motion. So it's from the stomach, the kidneys, down below, up to the liver. So what I do is I do um, some circular motions. But I want to spend a little bit more time over in my groin area because I had done my left leg, but now I'm really going to pay attention into my hip, my lower back area. So here's my, my spine. I know it's hard to see with the dark. I bend over. And I try to get as much up and bring it from the waist over. And then I go to my right hip. I bend over. I get this love handle area. We, we tend to carry a lot of water weight and or tightness right here. And I just kind of pull it up. I love brushing out my waistline. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the belly. Now our belly button, I'm going to go ahead and lower this a little bit. Or I literally will kind of tilt my bristles into my belly button and it feels really good. At first it felt kind of funny, but I'll tell you what, this really does have a tendency of helping me with my bloat. Okay, so then I, so I start with little ones. I'll do little ones all around, little clockwise. 
just lightly, that's all. And I bend back. I do have a tendency to bend backwards and I contract my, my abdominal muscles so then it actually becomes a strengthening exercise as well. Okay, so then I bring the top up towards the heart, top portion of the abdominal area, and then I take from the belly button down and I brush it into the groin area. And then I'll pull this back around just to be sure because there's a lot, a lot of lymph in the groin, okay? So, and then right here for us women, right where the hip and the thigh muscles meet, we have a tendency of getting a lot of clogging. So I'll have a tendency of even opening up even further, just brushing it into that groin area. Now I always go this way because even us women, our hair follicles grow that way. So I always go with that particular area so that way you don't um, get any kind of rashing or ingrown hairs happening. You want to go with the hair direction there. Okay? And oh, this really feels good on you. If you have cramps, menstrual cramps, or if you do this, it might bring on menstrual cramps, but over time your body gets used to it. Okay, okay, so you go to the left first. Oh, it feels so good. And now our next lymphs, our lymph nodes are underneath our arms. I just put my hand all the way up so I can, you know, I can start here. Oh, any for arthritis or joint pain within your wrist, you can open it up. And if you do this every day, I have a little bit of sensitivity right here, so I just lighten it up a little bit more. I do have shoulder issues, so I like to work on the shoulder for a little while. I'm always coming up to the front, to the heart, okay? Up to the front, to the heart. Either into the armpit, But then here, you want to go into the heart. Now I'm going over to the right side. It really does feel good. It's amazing that such a little brush, oh, it could give you such relief. See, I do about three strokes before I move on. And for women, let me do my shoulder. For women, I've read that it's good for us to do a light breast area. And I imagine for men too, I don't see why not. Men have been known for skin cancer. So basically what I do is I just put my hand flat, I hold my breast in place, and I just do a few strokes out. And then I go back into the arms. So I hold it in place. And I tend to put it on its side, the brush. I do it that lightly. Okay, and then once I get to my neck, I grab my softer bristle brush, but if you only have one, you can just lighten up the, the pressure, and like I say, you can just put it on the side like I do. I just go, I just have a lighter touch, a lighter grab. Okay, and so then, we have, now we have lymph nodes here, so you want to go. This one is, it really does feel good. I let it comb my whole ear. Oh. <sighs> See, and then I put it sideways. This is, I keep this one for my face because I keep it, you know, I don't want my whole body. Like if I brush my feet, I don't want to brush my face. And I clean my brushes about every two weeks with a mild soap, just the bristles. You try not to wet the wood and then um, let it dry, you know, pat it dry and let it dry. I just, I use, I use baby uh, magic soap in my, in my shower and I use a baby match, uh, a baby shampoo by Organic Sprout. They're really good. It's got rosemary and arnica in it, original sprout. I love their, 
their line. Okay, so the lymph nodes, lymph nodes, lymph nodes, you can do your neck. I go down the neck and then I pull it forward. And then I'll take that and throw that into the, the arm there, okay? So, there you go, dry brushing for health. Do this every day and trust me, you will have less edema swelling in your body and you will feel more alive, you'll have softer skin, your lymph will flow, you'll have less pain here and here. And um, be sure and always drink your water. I would say drink two of these a day. I get these on Amazon, I, I put a, just type in gel covered water bottle or something like that. These are about $13. I love them because they give me pleasure and happiness. Okay. Cheers. Thanks for joining me. Mm. You all did wonderful. So remember, dry brush for health. Okay. Sherry D shares. Comment below if you'd like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Okay. Goodbye, everybody.